Hello everyone, I'm Brett, this is InfoSmercial, and today we are going to be learning how to turn just about any object into real metal. We're doing this on some 3D printed parts like what I have right here. And today's project is this bad boy. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Bum, 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 bum. Here's a Phasma helmet that we've already 3D printed and assembled. If you want to 3D print this yourself or buy the parts, or if you want to learn how to assemble 3D prints like this one, check the description for links for all of that stuff. Today we're going to turn this into a metal plated object with a process called electroplating. Here's my creepy boss, Dr. Smirchel, to explain more. Electroplating is the process of depositing thin layers of metal onto a conductive surface using electricity to bond the two surfaces together. It's freaking awesome! So, like the man said, we need to make sure that the surface we're plating is made of a conductive material. And I've experimented with a lot of different things that we can use, and easily the best one I've been able to find is this. It's a product called Super Shield Nickel Conductive Coating by a company called MG Chemicals. It's basically just nickel spray paint. So we've already coated our helmet with this super shield and we've let it cure fully for 24 hours. We've also taken the liberty of smoothing it down using various grit sandpaper. That thing is smooth. We didn't use a very low grit sandpaper. We don't want to remove the paint. We just kind of want to smooth it out a little bit. So we started with an 800 grit sandpaper, moved on to 1000, and then finished it off with a 2000 grit sandpaper. Upon further inspection of the helmet, it seems that we sanded maybe just a little bit too much in a few spots. And we're going to have to fix that before we continue plating. The best product for this job is also made by MG Chemicals, and it's called nickel print. This stuff you can just paint on with a paintbrush and that's exactly what we're going to do. We have the nickel print, a mixing bowl, and some acetone for thinning things out. We're going to add just a few drops here and we'll stir it around just a little bit so it's nice and syrupy. And we'll slowly paint over so you won't even be able to tell we screwed up. Voila! So we've let the paint dry. We're going to take just a little piece of our 800 grit sandpaper and we're going to very carefully just sand down the affected areas. Now that this bad boy has been fully coated, it's time for some science magic hoobla! Alright, we're back inside and we have our workstation set up. We've got like a towel laid down and a nice plastic lid, we've got some rubber gloves, just to make sure everything stays clean and tidy so we can do three of my favorite things. Play with electricity, play with dangerous chemicals, and Star Wars. In order to plate this thing, we're going to be using a technique called brush plating. We picked up this kit from a wonderful company named Caswell Plating. This kit is called the Plug and Plate Kit. You get the solution of your choice, this is copper, you also get this little conductive metal brush. And then we have a little outlet adapter. We're ready to get started, but before we do, here are some safety tips from InfoSmercial head honcho, Dr. Smercial. Electroplating is tantalizingly fun, but also potentially dangerous. Be sure to wear chemical resistant gloves at all times. Make sure the chemicals themselves are kept out of reach of children. And children are always supervised. Don't try anything stupid like electroplating your neighbor's cat, because while that could be funny, the results won't be. So we've made all of our connections, we've followed all the instructions, we've connected the alligator clip into an inconspicuous spot on the helmet. We're going to take our brush and we'll just start brushing away. You'll see the copper start to come in pretty quickly. Now we're going to need it to be relatively thick so that way we can polish this thing when we're done. And always make sure that the brush itself is constantly being soaked in solution. For further instructions, all of the plug and plate Caswell kits of course include them, so refer to that. I mean, how friggin' cool is that? 
I'm gonna use a little bit of a larger setup here that I've purchased in order to kind of keep things moving. But the plug and plate kit will suffice for most projects you're working on, even if it might take a little bit of extra time. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna be watching some Lost reruns while I do this. Here's a quick tip when you're working with this thing. We started by making our electrical connection on this eyelet right here. However, once we've built up some copper on another part of the helmet, like right here, we attach the connection there. This helps speed along the process so you're not spending your whole freaking weekend on this silly thing. Let's keep it moving. Dude, that is rad. This thing is awesome so far. And it's only gonna get better. So the next step is to polish this bad boy up. To do this, we're using this stuff, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. This stuff works really easy and it's cheap, which is great. We also have some rubber gloves for getting dirty, microfiber towel for applying the polish by hand, and then some spare microfiber towels for cleaning all the crap up. But uh, for now, let's dive into polishing this thing. It's super easy to do, so you really can't screw it up. Really, I'm pretty sure you, you can't screw this thing up. So, let's have at it. Here we go, hopefully we don't screw this up. All you need to do is just take the microfiber towel, wrap it around your finger, pick up some polish from the jar, and just start rubbing in a circular motion. As you're working this stuff around, you'll notice that it starts turning sort of black. And that really just means that it's working. What the black is, is metal layers being stripped off of whatever surface it is that you're polishing. And so you just wanna move around in a circular motion over an area, and you can apply a pretty reasonable amount of pressure to this stuff without fear that you're just gonna to totally take this all off. I mean, this isn't sandpaper here, people. Come on. We'll wipe down some of the crap that was left over here. Up, 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 up. And now we will buff this out with this towel. And oh my goodness, that is starting to look nice and sharp. Pretty awesome. Just like with the plating, we're gonna keep things moving a little bit. And while I'm doing this, I hear Chappelle's back on Netflix, so how can I not check that out? I mean, come on, the guy was the king. I'm gonna listen in on my handy dandy Apple AirPods. Seriously, these things are pretty freaking cool. In any event, let's get to polishing. Boy oh boy, this thing is looking really awesome so far. The next step is to plate it in nickel and that's what's gonna give it the nice silvery finish. The process is largely the same as it was with copper. If you purchase the nickel plug and play kit from Caswell, you'll get this delicious but unsafe to drink looking liquid and you'll get a stainless steel brush. Uh, like before, I've also crafted a bigger brush because why the heck not? So, onward. Few quick tips. This thing is experimental, so you're gonna encounter issues, which is what's happening to us right now. 
few ways to get around this is make sure the surface is perfectly clean. You can use an acid solution to strip off any possible oxide layers on copper, and we can also use this. Pure baking soda, a little bit of distilled water, and a cotton ball to remove any black smut. We're almost done with this thing. Let's finish it. So that's it. We started out with some plastic pieces and we ended up with this badass looking phasma helmet made out of metal. That's pretty cool. If you guys learned anything new today or you just loved the video and thought it was cool, go ahead and give her a thumbs up down below. You can also reach us in the comments section. Let us know what you think about this stuff. If you run into any problems or you just have questions or whatever, reach us on Twitter, boop, right there. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button. It's big, it's red, it says subscribe. You will click the subscribe button. We're gonna learn some really cool stuff here. You don't wanna miss it. You won't find it anywhere else. Until next time, everybody.